Hey, my name is Scott with Common Motor Collective, and today we're here to talk about cylinders and why you might need our in-house cylinder machining service. So what are cylinders? Oftentimes when people are gonna start talking about engines, they may refer to this whole block as the cylinder. Really, there's a couple different parts going on. The first main part is gonna be the cylinder jug, which on these old Hondas, it's gonna be a cast aluminum body. And this is actually gonna hold the cylinders itself. The cylinder, in this case, is gonna be an iron sleeve. And it's actually pressed into the cylinder jug. Now, another important thing to know is that this hole here inside the cylinder sleeve is referred to as the bore. Now, a couple important aspects of the bore are gonna be the overall shape, and probably the most important aspect is gonna be the overall diameter of the bore. Now, as the engine runs, the piston is gonna slide up and down in the cylinder, and as that happens, the bore diameter and the shape is gonna change. Now that we've talked about what a cylinder is and gone over some basic terms, let's talk about why they may need to be serviced. Now there's three main types of wear we see when we're inspecting cylinders. First of which is gonna be normal wear and tear. So as your engine operates and the pistons move up and down inside the cylinder bore, the overall size and shape is going to change. Now there's a term used called service limit, which can be found in your factory service manuals and this is an allowable amount of wear determined by Honda to let you know how far your parts can go before they need to be repaired. The second type of wear we find, commonly whenever a bike has been parked outside for decades or even the engine has been stuck, if you can see inside of here, this cylinder was stuck and there's some heavy corrosion inside the cylinder. Cannot operate in these conditions and the cylinders will have to be serviced before going back into use. Now the third type of damage we normally see is gonna be caused by some sort of catastrophic failure or irregular wear inside the engine. Most times this can still be corrected with our service, but there is going to be a limit. For example, if there is a big hole in the cylinder or it has gotten so hot that it's begun to melt at the top, these are things that cannot be corrected. Let's take a look at the worst core I've ever seen. So you can see there's a broken fin there. There's a couple more here and oh boy, someone had a really bad day taking this engine apart. So during our cylinder machine service, there's two main areas we focus on. The first of which of course being the cylinder. And the second is going to be the head gasket surface. Now our approach to repairing these is gonna to be to remove as little material as possible while still restoring original performance. Main reason being is these parts are no longer in production. We wanna be able to see these bikes being used for years and years to come. By approaching it this way, it'll leave room for it to be serviced in the future after thousands of more miles of use. Now, you can imagine as you remove material from the inside of this cylinder, the walls are gonna get thinner and thinner. And at a certain point, it is no longer usable. We only bore the cylinders to sizes recommended by Honda, which is gonna be no more than one millimeter larger than its original size. Although you can find pistons on the market larger than this, they're usually gonna be used in a racing application and they're gonna require much more internal engine modification in order to work. While most cylinders can be mechanically restored with our service, there are a couple of things that we do not offer and cannot repair. Usually these are gonna be cosmetic. We don't offer any paint or polishing services for the cylinder jug. Also, whenever there's broken fins, that's another thing we cannot repair. Now, while it doesn't look pretty, that doesn't mean that this is junk. Cylinders like this can still be restored and used for tens of thousands of miles to come. No two cylinders are ever gonna be the same, which is why it's best left to experts like us to evaluate and decide the best course of action when it comes to repairing them. One of the biggest benefits you will get from doing this is the money you save on precision measurement tools you don't have to buy. Also, the hours of rubbing and scrubbing you can avoid by sending it into us to make it nice and clean like this. Now included with the service is gonna be a set of our Pulsar Pistons. 
It'll come with all the pistons you need, as well as rings, wrist pins, and wrist pin clips. Don't forget to pick up our overhaul gasket kit as well, and be sure to download your factory Honda service manual from our knowledge base. It's gonna be your step-by-step -step guide to assembling the engine properly the first time without causing any damage. Here's a good example of some cylinders that have just been serviced and ready to send out to a customer. As you can see, the entire jug has been cleaned of all dirt, corrosion, and nasty grime. The head gasket surface has been decked to a nice level surface and also removing any major imperfections. This way you're gonna get a nice good sealing surface with that head gasket. And then finally, the cylinders themselves have been bored and honed to a larger size. Again, this has been Scott with Common Motor Collective. That is common-motor.com. Be sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Check out the newsletter on our website and follow our YouTube channel. Be sure to ring that bell down below. Thanks for coming out. I'll see you guys next time.